we've got to get this guy here. You know, you got really good looks, but you're hard headed. That's for sure. Raising bison channel about raising bison guys. This is fun. And I, I love putting these guys on film because there's no animal like them. We're lucky to have these animals as some of you may know, and if you don't, we almost lost these animals in the late 1800s. And today, I get to raise these animals, and I'm just very thankful. I also want to thank Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and I want to thank my wife, and I want to thank Kevin for their help today. And uh, I think we probably could have used one or two more bodies. See, the thing about working bison is they only see one or two people, maybe, during the week. Maybe one or two people. And if you get too many people, they know something's up. These are smart, smart animals, and so we try not to get too many people, especially if you ever get people that are not around the bison, it could be very dangerous and tricky. They're very stubborn, they're ornery. Um, even though they're beautiful and majestic and all those great things about them. A couple of things I'm a little uh, upset about. It's not, um, let me start with the negatives first. One, uh, we couldn't get Big Joe turned around. Uh, just couldn't get him turned around. He did the same thing at Enid, Oklahoma from his original home to get on a trailer. If you've watched that video, it took us maybe an hour and a half to finally get him turned around. You got to poke him a little bit and push him and we finally got him turned around. But a lot of you are asking me, how big is he? How much does he weigh? Well, unfortunately, we didn't get to weigh him. I was pretty disappointed about that. We tried to, to poke him for about, I don't know, 30 or 45 minutes, and we got nowhere. So he was not going through the alley system to the tub and then the squeeze chute. He was not going for it. So that was unfortunate that uh, we didn't get Big Joe in. We're going to try again in a couple of days. Uh, we may do, make a couple of different adjustments, but that is the downfall of Big Joe and Flo and Kit, the three new ones, is they've never been handled. When, and when I say that, they've never been through a squeeze chute. They've never been through any of that before. So uh, it was a first time for them. Now, Kit, she went right through and we worked her. Flo, our calm new cow, she we had to poke her a little bit and she finally went through and we got her vaccinated. But uh, Big Joe, no, we couldn't. He would not go for it. And so we'll have to try to work him again in a couple of days. But we really want to really want to get that guy worked. I really wanted to get Big Joe on the scales to see how much he weighed and how big he really was. And I know you guys want to know too as well. And uh, every time you work these animals, we learn something new. We do like the new head gate and it went really well. Much better than last time. And so I'm very thankful about that.